Hey everybody, I'm Jose Matos, the creator of Batarope ST, and I just wanted to introduce this product to you and tell you a little bit how I came up with this uh, training system. I've been a trainer for seven years now, and I found myself training a lot of my clients with battle ropes and suspension trainers, and they're both great, highly effective training systems, so I thought, why not create a training system that combines the two methods together? And that's what I did. Um, as you can see, it's a rope, but we also have uh, these great handles um, with cradles that allow you to do um, suspension training as well as battle ropes. So everything that you can do with a traditional battle rope and a suspension trainer, you can do with Battle Rope ST. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so let me show you how easy it is to install Battle Rope ST training system into your gym, your studio, or your home. Basically, it comes with two anchors, one for your bottom anchor to do all your battle rope movements and one for the top to do suspension. Set your bottom anchor about six inches from the ground and then from the top of your bottom anchor, it's five feet where you're gonna set your first drill hole and your first screw for your top anchor. And then what you wanna check for after you have your anchor set is you wanna make sure that the bottom of your cradle is about 12 inches from the ground. And that's pretty much it. One of the things that you're gonna notice that's different about Battle Rope ST and which is very beneficial is the length of the rope is half the length of a traditional battle rope. So you're gonna save tons of space in your facility or even if you were at home, you could utilize it at home. We were able to do that because we added weight to the handles, which makes up the difference in length. And that's two of the key features that make it really unique. So the key to having a great workout with Battle Rope ST is to focus on three keys, posture, core, mechanics, and movement quality. It's so important that you don't treat these ropes like a traditional battle rope. You cannot lean all your body weight back into them like a traditional battle rope, and you have to focus on movement quality with these. Your movements are more tighter and compact, and that's the key to having a highly effective workout with Battle Rope ST. So I wanna go over the foundational movement and PCM for the basic oscillation movement, which is the foundation really of having a, an effective workout with Battle Rope ST. And this, this is the important thing. I'll show you without the rope in my hands, the proper posture, right? We're in our universal athletic position, which is in a quarter squat, hips are back. When we do our oscillation movements, it's so important that we keep our oscillations tight in front of the hips, okay? We can't be way up here like this. It's right here, posture, core, mechanics, and it looks like this. That's really the foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through some oscillation movements and we're gonna focus on PCM, the proper posture, the proper core, and the proper mechanics for the oscillation movements. First move I'm gonna show you is a front slam. It's very similar mechanics to doing a kettlebell swing. Again, we have to watch our range of motion. We can't treat these like traditional batter ropes. So, the front slam looks like this. We start off with the proper posture. We're in a quarter squat in that universal athletic position. I got my core engaged. My hands are starting in front of me. My, um, I'm gonna come up about shoulder height and I'm trying to create a big wave just like this. That's the proper way to do it. The wrong way to do it would be to be trying to come up too high and not having enough range of motion. So if we come too high, we're gonna catch just like that. We're not, we're not gonna get good movement quality. So what we're looking for is this right here, a nice wave. I'm coming up about shoulder height. I have my arms extended. I have a slight bend in my elbow. And I'm also getting a little bit of extension and flexion in the wrist at the same time and I'm incorporating a, uh, a squat also into the movement. Just like that. All right, so I wanna show you the next move called the reverse lunge and go walk you through the PCM for that, posture core mechanics. This move and the oscillations are actually gonna be on the sides of the body and I'm gonna be doing oscillations in like a bicep curl range of motion. And so it's gonna look like this. I'll show you without the ropes. 
We're gonna have our hands here, and I'm gonna do a reverse lunge, and my oscillations are gonna be right around the front of my knee. Taking a nice step back, making sure we keep our knee far away from our toe, trying to focus on good movement quality with the rope. So it looks like this. Start off right here, get some good waves going. Always focusing on movement quality, posture, core, mechanics. Take your time, I always like to pause with that reverse lunge. Keep those waves going. Just like that. Nice waves, waves, movement off. And that's the reverse lunge. All right, so I'm gonna show you two core exercises that you can do with Battle Rope ST. And we're gonna also incorporate into the core movement a bicep curl and a front shoulder raise. And it looks like this. Wanna start off with your arms fully extended. My palms are facing up to the ceiling. My knees are bent like in a traditional sit up position. And then I wanna come up into flexion with the bicep, flexing my biceps, engaging my core at the same time. Coming up with my elbows um, about the height of my knees so I can get good flexion in my bicep. And it looks like this. You want to make sure you bring those elbows up nice and high. You don't want them down here. You want them up here so you can get good flexion. I'll show you a couple. Looks like that. And then for the shoulders, we're in the same position except I'm going to have my palms facing down. My arms are fully extended. Again, you want to make sure you have tension on that rope. And I'm going to do a sit up and a front shoulder raise at the same time, bringing my hands together in front of me, engaging the front of my deltoid. And it looks like this. Okay, so I wanna show you a couple strength moves from the bottom anchor position for the upper body. I'm gonna do two moves. It's gonna be a shoulder press and a tricep extension from the standing position. I wanna start off standing straight up. I'm standing straight up, I'm not angling my body, but I wanna find tension in that rope I want to have my arms fully extended. They're slightly um, in front of me. So it's almost like a combination of like a shoulder press and a inclined chest press. Starting with arms fully extended, I'm going to come down, making sure that I have contact with the rope at all times. Uh, um, that's really important. Um, I'm keeping a straight line with my body, and engaging my core, drawing my abs in, and then I'm pushing through my triceps and my shoulders back to the start position. I'm always maintaining just slight contact with the rope at all times, pushing straight to the shoulders and the triceps. And then the tricep um, move uh, exercise from there is I'm just gonna come forward just slightly. Now I'm gonna create some distance between me and the rope slightly, keeping my hands together, arms are fully extended. Then I'm gonna come down into flexion in my tricep, then I'm gonna drive and extend all the way through my triceps, keeping my hands high over my head. This is engaging my core at the same time, as well as my triceps. Just like that. You could even do a combination, shoulder press, and then go right to triceps. There's just a couple strength movements from the standing position from the bottom anchor. Okay, so now we're gonna move into some anterior strength movements, utilizing the first top anchor. And I wanna show you how easy it is to just get your rope set up. Simply gonna set your rope over the top anchor. If your ropes are a little uneven like this, you wanna just pull on one side, give them a good adjustment. And I always like to finish by bringing the two handles together and giving them a quick little pull, making sure your handles are even. Now you're ready to do your anterior strength movements, the front of the body. Okay, so I'm gonna show you two chest exercises from this first anchor. Um, the first exercise I'm gonna do is gonna be a chest press, and then I'm gonna show you a fly. And then I'm gonna show you how you can combine the two together. So you're starting off with arms fully extended. Um, like any suspension movement, the further you move your feet back towards the anchor, the more resistance you add to the exercise, the further you move your feet away, the less resistance. So starting with arms fully extended, I'm gonna come down. I wanna make sure I have contact at the bottom right here. Um, keeping my arms at about a right angle, and then I'm gonna um, keep my core engaged and extend back up to the start position. I'm starting with the rope right about under the ears, and I'm gonna end there too. So it's deep breath on the way down, contact with the rope, 
posture, core mechanics, exhaling on the way back up, ending right under the ears where I started. And then the fly movement starts from this same position, except I'm gonna turn my palms out with a slight bend in my elbow, keeping a, um, uh, a right angle also in with my elbow, my shoulder, and then I'm bringing my arms back to the start position. So I can combine them by doing this. Press, coming out wide for a nice fly. Back to the start. And those are just two strength exercises for the, the chest with batter roll best tee. All right, so I'm gonna show you two more uh, upper body movements from this first top anchor. This first move that I'm gonna do is called a rollout. And I love this move because it's great, because it's, uh, it pretty much engages every muscle in the upper body, the triceps, the chest, and even some of the back. And it's uh, great for thoracic extension too, which is um, highly beneficial also. I'm gonna do a rollout, and then I'm gonna reposition, and I'm gonna incorporate a lunge into the rollout. So I'll start with the rollout. Starting with the rope, um, right about shoulders lined up with the front of my um, deltoids. And I'm just gonna follow my shoulder line going straight up. I have a slight bend in my elbow. I'm gonna bring my hands together at the top, making sure I bring my core with me. Um, really important when you do suspension movements, to keep the straight line between the shoulders, hips, knees, and ankle. And that's gonna keep the core engaged. So again, from right here, arms are fully extended. I'm gonna extend them straight up, bringing my hands together engaging my core, my whole upper body, and returning back to the start position. And if I want to incorporate a lunge into that, I'm going to come forward just slightly, raising the rope up so it's a little bit higher, just right under the ears. And I'm going to take a nice big step forward, getting good thoracic extension in my upper body, still maintaining that slight bend in my elbows, bringing the hands together. And then I bring my attention to my upper body, and I use my upper body to bring me back up. You can alternate legs, nice big lunge. Important thing is with the lunge, always make sure that knee is far away from the toe. You don't want it crossing over your toe like that. So to avoid doing that, you take a nice big step, keeping that knee back, engaging that quadricep, and coming back to the start position. And it looks like this. Deep breath on the way down, exhale on the way up. Okay, so let me show you how to move from this first anchor up to the second, which is the top anchor. Simply grab your rope, loop yourself over. Same thing, check your length. Make sure they're even. Give them a quick pull. Now you're all ready to do your posterior strength movements, which is your back movements. With battle rope ST from the top. All right, so I'm gonna show you two more strength exercises for the back from the top anchor. The first move that I'm gonna do is just a traditional back row, and then I'm gonna show you um, a reverse fly, or it's like a T we call it. So, um, and I'll show you how we combine them. So starting from the flexion position, again, if I move my feet closer to the anchor, it's gonna increase the resistance. Again, I wanna point out the key to keeping the straight line between the shoulders, hips, knees, and ankle to keep the core engaged. So, if we're focusing on PCM, proper posture, core mechanics, looks like this. Starting from this position, I'm gonna extend down, full extension with my hands. I can rotate my hands, palms facing down, or I can keep them facing each other. It's whatever you prefer. I'm gonna row myself back in. Looks just like this. And that's your, that's your traditional back row. Now I'm gonna show you the reverse fly, or T we call it. Coming from full extension like this, Arms are going straight out. Extend it back down. Bringing my attention to my upper back area and keeping a slight bend in my elbow. I don't have my arms perfectly straight. I have a little soft elbow. And it looks like this. Deep breath on the way down. Exhale on the way up. And then if I combine them, it looks like this. And there's two more exercises that you can do for your back that you can combine from the top anchor with Battle World Best Team.